Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Inspiring Joy. My name is Jody, and if you're returning, welcome back. So today I'm going to design a spring basket for our front door. I'm going to hang it on the inside of the front door. We already have a wreath on the outside of the front door, which I still like uh, hanging there. So this basket is going to be loaded with some spring artificial items and we'll hang it on the interior of the front door. And then I also have a new doormat for spring that I want to put out and I'll show you that as well. So first, let me walk you through the supplies that I have for the basket and then we'll get started. But first of all, this is the basket that I have to use. It's a very large inset basket. It has a nice straight back and a nice curved front. So this is the front and then hanging, it's a very flat back, which I love. So that's going to work out well for the basket itself. And then additionally, I have one of the bunnies that I did recently in another craft video. And then I have a couple of vines and some daffodils, some Easter grass that I can use for the base, some purple flowers. All of these are silk. And I actually did, I have some eggs here and some carrots, some raffia carrots. And the eggs themselves, I hot glued this ribbon to the top earlier today so I can hang them. So I think I'm going to kind of grab a bunch together and hang them on the basket in a certain way. And then I have these cute little bunnies on sticks if I want to use them. I have my command hook strip and then some additional ribbon as well. So these are my supplies that I'm going to use for the basket and let's see how it comes together. So first of all, I'm going to put into the bottom of the basket this Easter grass to give it a filler. Next, I'm going to add the florals. Now, oh, Boo has joined us. And this is a vine that I'm going to hang on the outer side, outer edge of the basket, with these purple florals sticking out at the top. Next, I'm going to take this daffodil and set it inside the basket on this corner here. Next, I'm going to take the eggs, which I hot glued ribbon earlier today. The ribbons are different lengths, so I'm going to line them up to where all of the ends meet. Together at the top. For example, all of these line up together and the eggs hang down at different lengths. So I have all of the eggs together at different lengths and now I'm going to tie them on the loop behind the basket. And 
and let the eggs hang down. Some of them will look to be inside the basket and some will be on the outside. And then I'll take the raffia carrot. I have two of them, also different lengths. And I'll tie them on the other side in this other loop here. I'll match the ends together and then tie them. Just so they are secure on the basket. And then I'm going to hang these carrots on this side. I'm going to adjust the vine greenery it just slightly. So I think it got a little bit twisted with the carrots. And then one of the bunnies that I did in my earlier craft, I'll put a link in my description of this video to this bunny video, craft video. I'm going to take it out of its pot and I'm going to set it inside this basket so it pokes out just a little bit. Then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the base and make a bow. cut the tips with the little V's that I like so much on the ribbons. And then now I'm going to tie these, tie this around the basket. Making sure I get under the carrots and under the eggs. I'm just gonna do a basic knot on this one. because I don't want it to slide down. And I'll bend a couple of the flowers just so they don't get in the way of the ribbon too much. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the cute little bunny heads that we have here. And I'll put it inside the knot. If I can get it to go in here. So we have our spring item there, and I might add another one in here just to kind of plop them around. And I have two other ones. Let's see if I can add them as well. Okay. There's a little 
bunny on that side. Put it over there on the eggs. Ooh, so cute, little bunny. And that side too. Now let's put it more in the front. Yeah. That's good. I've got one of the eggs here. There we go. All right, so we are full of bunnies, flowers, eggs, carrots, everything you would need for spring and Easter decorating. All right, so our basket is together. Let's go hang it on the door. So what I'm using for the door is a command hook, which I will adhere to the door. And the cats are very curious. <laughs> secured the hook. So while that's setting, before we hang, I'm going to open this box. This has the doormat in it. So this one with the butterflies is for spring that I'm going to set outside on our on our front door step. And the company that I purchased these from, they are on Amazon. They are called Briarwood Lane Outdoor Doormat. I'll put a link to their site on Amazon, their store. I just love these. The colors are fantastic. My understanding is each design is um, created by an actual artist, and then they create the doormat from that. So let me open this. The spring doormat, which we'll put outside here in a moment. And I got one for the summer as well. Put those over there. Now let's try to hang our basket. Okay, so the basket is hung. Let me walk you through everything. So what we did, what I did, is this flower up here, this is the daffodil. And then down here is a beautiful arrangement of different purple flowers, different colors. We have a few bunnies sprinkled in here, this little bunny here in the front, so cute. And then we have this ribbon hung here and tied around the basket. We have a couple of the raffia carrots hung here on the ribbon that I hot glued to them. I have my little vine and then the bunny from an earlier project like I mentioned. And then we have these cute little eggs popped in here on the side and in here on the top as well. Very whimsical, very cute very fun for spring. Let me step back so you can see on the front door what that looks like. I think it looks very, very cute. This 
is a doormat that I had for winter. Same company. And what you do is if you buy this doormat, they have this little black edging. So you take out this one and then you put in your new one. And there we are. And at our front door I have one of these boxwoods on each side of the door that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I think they're back in stock as well if you're interested in those. But I think this new doormat for spring looks wonderful. So I'll put a link to the doormat and the company if you're interested in that and the boxwoods from and from excuse me Hobby Lobby. And then everything that I had in the basket I obtained from craft stores or I already had here at home. So I do hope this inspires you to do something fun for yourself, for your home, for spring. And I look forward to our visit in the next video. And I'll see you then. Take care. Bye now.